What's going on guys, welcome to this video. Now we have got a lot of workout footage, so if you enjoy workout footage, you'll definitely enjoy this video. This was the first day of week one of the intensity block. So yes, we have started the intensity block. There has been no taper, um, no form of a taper, or any form of a deload going into the intensity block. We are just starting the intensity block straight away. And this was day one, and we were squatting and benching, and we were to work up to 200 on 27.5 kilograms, so 500 pounds in squats for three triples, and then on bench press we were to work up to three plates for three triples with two prior working sets, and uh, the bar was moving incredibly well. This actually left me feeling um, absolutely amazing and extremely confident moving forwards, as obviously because there's been no form of taper, there's still a lot of uh, fatigue debt that I'm carrying around from the volume block, um, as that volume block was probably the most volume I've ever done in my whole entire life, um, it was a lot, and uh, definitely kind of was beating me up, however today I felt really really good, and also considering that actually the most amount of weight I've had in my back was 80% in the last 5 weeks, which has been 215 kilos, then to put 227.5 kilos in my back, and for it to feel as light as it did, um, it felt absolutely amazing, and the bar was just moving very 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 well, so this is very encouraging as the week progresses, and I dump off some of the fatigue that we have accumulated, and also prepare my body for heavier loads um, and if you've got a keen eye you've obviously also saw behind the killet on the wall I actually went down to the shops and bought myself some spray paint and we wrote killet on the wall again a few people kind of got it right um, that's something I've actually wanted to do for quite a while uh, and I thought you know what screw it just gonna do it and I actually think it looks pretty cool I'm actually very happy with it I like it and uh, the only thing is though is that we've got a full can of spray paint sitting about in the garage um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with um, no I'm not too sure maybe kind of find a few things to do one thing I was thinking was uh, spray painting the silver bits on the rack black uh, just taking it to be honest just kind of trying to find ways to f use the spray paint um, because I paid for it, so I may as well get my full use of it. And uh, yeah, actually today as well, uh, on the squats, that is honestly um, upper back wise, um, with the bar, just the stability with the bar uh, is the most stable I've ever felt. Um, ever I really feel in squats and I honestly feel that that is one of the main things is due to um, obviously a slight increase in body weight, but also an increase in kind of muscle mass. Um, because obviously there's more muscle mass therefore it's going to allow for much more stability and then obviously on top of that as well because obviously I've got the new bar and the new bar is not all kinked and moved that is also a big 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 contributing factor to um, increasing stability so I feel that that will also have a great carryover onto the much heavier percentages and much heavier loads as obviously under heavier loads the more stable you feel the better you're going to perform so again this was my last set and again doing it all with pretty much next to no kind of mental stimulation, no hype, which obviously as you all know, if you've kind of followed the channel for a long time, that I am much, much, much stronger when I get very mentally stimulated. Quite frankly, I use perfor usually perform about 10% 10, 10 better when extremely mentally hyped up and mentally stimulated than when I'm very, very calm. So again, that is also very, very... Um, exciting moving forwards that when I'm performing this well in the much heavier loads when I start kind of getting mentally excited and hopefully in the kind of last intensity week where the weights are at an all time high when I get very very mentally stimulated it's going to really allow for some big loads moved for lots of reps hopefully and then again was to move on to bench press after this and actually I feel that one thing I really really like and I think a lot of people a lot of powerlifters competitive powerlifters um maybe don't take into consideration when they don't bench press after they squat is that when you squat your shoulder girdle um, gets affected by the squatting your shoulder girdle absolutely gets fatigued by squatting so when your shoulder girdle gets fatigued by squatting that is obviously going to have an impact on your bench press because it's going to slightly um, affect your bench press because your shoulder girdle is obviously going to be fatigued okay so then if you always bench press after you after um Sorry, if you never bench press after you squat, so you always bench press in its own day, then when you go into when you go into competition and you're working off your training numbers, your 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 numbers in comp might not live up to your training numbers because you're not taking into consideration the fatigue from um, your 
your squatting. Whereas if you bench after your squatting, your chain numbers will match up because it's not going to be affected and it just makes uh, stuff a lot more specific. And it's something I really like to do with my athletes. And it's something that I am... Um, I'm programmed to do, uh, I, I have programmed to do for myself as well, which is also awesome. And again, here you see the top sets, which is actually four sets of three with three plates. And to me, three plates has always been a little bit daunting. Not so much daunting, but it's always seemed like a big deal. Three plates has always seemed a really, really big deal to me and always seemed like a lot of weight. And for me to move it for four sets of three today, after all that squatting, with no kind of taper after that volume block and for it to be moving as well as it did and to feel as light as it did in my hands uh, is extremely encouraging. Uh, three plates just always has seemed like a very big deal to me and I feel like I need to go to a place to kind of lift it um, whereas, and it's always felt very heavy in my hands whereas today uh, it just it, it really kind of showed me that three, three plates really isn't a big deal at all and I've really got it in the bank so again very encouraging moving forward with my bench press and uh, just chasing that four plate bench press um, with everything I've got it is definitely coming without a doubt it will take time there's several 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 um, cycles to go before I even kind of have um, the potential to be attempting a four plate bench press um, but I'm going to be chasing them with absolutely everything I've got I'm going to be doing everything in my power to be able to bench four plates and uh, I can just assure you that four plates will be coming um, one day and uh, just very very excited moving forwards and everything is just very encouraging Last one. Good. Keeping it simple after the workout, just having a litre of chocolate milk and half a watermelon. So that gets a good amount of carbs in. For the day, as I'm a little bit low in carbs uh, and also a good amount of protein. And uh, that workout was honestly brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Um, was very, very encouraging. Everything was moving well and was feeling awesome and they just cannot wait to go forwards and come Wednesday as well, it's going to be a big, big deadlift day uh, where I'm going to be moving 260 kilos for three sets of three um, after two prior workup sets again. So again, look out for that. That will be up either Wednesday night or it will be up Thursday night, but it will be up before the weekend. So I'm going to drink my chocolate milk, eat my watermelon uh, and I'm signing out. You got anything to say, Ginger? Do you want to say anything to them?